this is one of my uh, favorite little cigars here. Uh, what do you see that? Um, yes, well, it's called the uh, Florida Selva Siesta. They come in little four packs. So, uh, yeah, I got uh, four for 16 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. It's a great cigar when you don't have a whole lot of time. By Maya Silva. <clears throat> They're from Honduras. I do like Honduran cigars, it's true. Good, I mean, there's some really shitty Honduran cigars, but when they get it right, they're, they're really good. This little sticker tells you you're gonna die of throat cancer. I can't stand these stupid stickers. Just uh, destroying any kind of aesthetic on the box. You know? That's what we've done. We've replaced beauty with uh, warning labels. Everything. Where you go. Meanwhile, we're all eating plastic and all kinds of shit. We have the warning labels on salad. There we go. Now that's the way it's supposed to look. No? It's a very nice little box. It's cool. It's got the uh, little, you know, thing there. It's very cool. Put that there. Actually, a really nice day today. It's uh, it's been really cold and gloomy today. The sun came out. And it's, it seems like it might get up to around I don't know, maybe high 40s, low 50s. I will say I do think. Um, Maybe these need a little bit of time in the humidor, in the cooler. I'm not getting a whole lot out of it. It's very smooth smoke though. I don't know if it, it, it's very mild, very smooth. I don't know if it would 
actually be a good candidate for aging or not. Not much really going on in the retro hell. No, that's a nice retro hell. It's kind of smooth and easy. About to go to work and uh, <clears throat> I wanted a little cigar first. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a nice little cigar. It's just, it's not, you know, you're not getting crazy flavor, but I mean, it's not super rich, but there's something to be said for just a, a nice, easy, smooth, mild smoke. You know? There's nothing really bad in there. Uh, you know what? I kind of feel like <clears throat> well, I'm not sure. If I want to. I was thinking maybe make some cappuccino out of this black coffee, but yeah, it's... I don't know. it's actually a perfect cup of uh, coffee black, but. Uh, I... If it was a little stronger, it'd be good with some cream. Try to see if I can get any flavor. And there's no distinct, real distinct flavor coming out. It. It, but there is a sort of a, I don't know, you can, it's like I got a quality. It's not like it's a bad cigar. You can <coughs> get a sense of the quality. It's a very luxurious. Um, Smoke. Very silky. Very nice. I think actually this cigar complements uh, like a good, like a nice drink. That's why I think I it would be nice to kind of sweeten up this coffee. Let's let's try that. Sometimes you know, a cigar is just. Uh, bacon to be paired with the right thing. So. Got a little Turkish uh, coffee pot here. A little bit of 
milk. dab of honey See if this uh, adds a little something to the cigar. So it's a little milky. It was a, almost a too perfectly balanced cup of coffee, which makes a great black cup, but. No, not quite, it doesn't quite cut into the cream enough. But, uh, yeah. sort of bring out the, the creaminess of the cigar a little. There's some creaminess in there, but it is a little bit of a bland creaminess, which is still kind of all right. I mean, it's still kind of creamy. It's like creamy, silky, smooth smoke. It's just uh, not super rich. There's, not, no, there's no real sweetness in there. Mmm. I take that back. There is like a sliver of sweetness. Like a roasted almond sweetness or something. Just a just a tinge of sweetness. I mean I still like it. It's an enjoyable smoke. Uh I would give I would give this just because of the quality of that smooth, silky smoke, which is nice. I would give it an 89, which may sound generous, but even though there's not a lot of richness, it's, uh, it just, it does that, it does the mellow cigar, it's like a perfect, uh, mellow, kind of, uh, understated smoke, if that makes sense. Oh, there you go. 